Sorry to record, is it? This is Sergeant 2824. Yeah, yeah, from Manning's Gate. Nice to meet you, sir. Oh, that's good to meet you. Good day. Yeah, he's been all right. I haven't been here 13 years. I haven't but been in trouble, so... I'm sure I've been in trouble. <laughs> I've never been in trouble. Oh, lovely. Have you managed to go through everything and have a look at everything today? Just going round now, we are. Oh, yes, yeah. yeah. I'm just taking my mate round, because, okay, like I said, I came here and did the missions earlier. Have you? Oh, okay, yeah. lovely. But there's, there's loads of stuff to have a look at. You've, obviously, you've probably heard all these bits here. So you've got all the bikes and stuff. And dogs. Dogs are still here. Um, we've got a little bit of fingerprinting and stuff going on up to the right. The, uh, You've never been in trouble, have you, Stu? So yeah. this is like a new well to you. I want this one to do a breathalyzer <laughs> test. <laughs> breathalyzer. Well, these are the ones to ask it about because they, they do all the um, breathalyzer. They're the road police, and so it'll be a great time. Cheers, okay. sir. Thanks, Thank you, cheers. Sir. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Are you um, chief inspector? Well, no, Thank I'm not a yourself. chief inspector. That man up there is the chief inspector. All right, no, I've just after wanted to know the ranks and the, the pips and stuff. You know the ranks. Oh, I'm, and the a, I'm an inspector. Oh, an inspector. Yes. So you'll be the one that will overlook. Yes. Is that in custody? No, I'm uh, so for the neighbourhood team. So that's the chief inspector up there. All oh, right, that's the big man. Absolutely, Hiya, are you the chief inspector? I am a chief inspector, oh, yes. Brilliant to meet you, sir. How are you? Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. You don't mind being on live, do you? No, not really. Uh, what is your name, sir? Richard Bailey. You've got Richard Bailey, he's the chief inspector of uh, West Mercia Police. and So of Telford, so I look at the Oh, just of Telford, police. yes. Oh, so, okay. And so so you... these, there are um, the assistant chief constable and the deputy chief constable of the whole force. I, I just spoke to the chief, I want to get the... The oh, next guy up. Oh well. Uh, but what's your main like sort of job in like, so the police My main force? job then is I work out in this building in Mallinsley and I am the chief inspector for local policing. So all of your safer neighbourhood teams and problem solving. So all of these staff that you see here, um, who are your community bobbies and your PTSOs, they're all my team. Um, and we look after the day-to-day -day sort of bobby on the beat and PTSOs on the street. Um, for everyday policing in Telford. And how, how, how long have you been in the force? Um, I start my 30th year at the beginning of December. So oh, wow. See, see, guys, it just goes to show you a 30 year career and then the golden handshake at the end of it. You never know. <laughs> but, It'll be uh, slightly longer than 30, but it's all good fun. Cheers, sir. So, my name's Steve from uh, Official Topic Talk YouTube. Nice, I've nice got around about just under 5k subscribers. Lovely. Good luck. Um, and I've been covering all about like the grooming gangs in Telford and you know all of that side of on the channel to get the awareness out there okay. but cheers so thanks for your time okay. cheers okay. there we have our local local cookery not sure who it is let's just get that some advertisement for grind and displays and there you go guys you must get some of the best best samosas in Telford bit of advertisement for you and that's the Kieran de Flames. There we go, guys. I'm just going to show you their menu quickly. As you can see, I'm going to take one away with me. You do take uh, delivery and take yeah, away. Yeah. There we go, guys. Get all dream from Telford. Did you see that knife one? Yeah. When they had the... I've done the knife angel. And I've actually done a video on this when this the gun bee uh, was in Telford. It's a tool to stop all knife and gun. Hi, sir. Are you a butler, chief inspector? I am, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice to meet you. My name's Steve. Hi, Steve. Topic talk. You what, sorry? My name's Steve Clark. Hi, um, Steve. I'm a got a YouTube channel, Official Topic Talk. What's the, what's the YouTube channel? Official Topic Talk. Okay. And uh, I've been covering like about the grooming gangs and all that sort of stuff for awareness uh, in Telford. Yeah. What is your actual job? Do you... I'm the Deputy Chief Constable. Deputy Chief Constable. Yeah. And what does your job like entail? That means I run West Mercia Police. So you overlook all the officers Every, everything. and the everyday uh, so running? I, the chief 
the chief tells me what she wants uh, and largely I deliver to her strategy and so I make sure we're performing well uh, I make sure we are trying to get crime down trying to bring offenders to justice make people trust us uh, working hard to make sure the vulnerable are protected you been on the force in Le 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 well, I, well, in the full force or just in, in this area but before that, I was in the Metropolitan Police, and before that, I was in West Midlands. Oh, right, so you've had a like, thorough career from... So how long all together, like, within... 27 years. 27. Wow, that's a long time. And you must love the job, I mean, to... Brilliant job. I mean, look at today, it's great meeting members of the public, and then, uh, you know, if you want... Great job, really varied as well. So. And, and what would you say to recommend anybody if they were interested? I would say, are you interested in making a difference, making it safer... Uh, looking out for the people who need help the most, whether they're a domestic violence victim, someone who's been robbed, a child who's gone missing, this is the job for you. And what advice would you have to give to anybody that was wanting to join? I'd say we want people who really care, who work hard, who are flexible, who think about other people. Uh, and I'd say just work hard at school and then do your best. Do you need like any extra qualifications right like in school? Yeah, you need, does, does, that, you need does that justify your rank as you move through no, the years? No, no. Once no. you're in, you're in, and then it's all on merit. Although some people wouldn't say that. <laughs> okay. so, thanks nice for your time, okay, so thank you very care. much. I've spoken to the careers. Yeah, everyone. Hi, sir. Nice to meet you. Hello, where's Matt? My name's Noel. I've got a bunch of big ones now. You know, you go to an interview, and after you get through your interview, you and if, you, if everything passes through, you go through your training. Mm -hmm. If you pass your training, then you win. And it's yeah. all online. Yeah, yeah. And we're recruiting now. Yeah. Thank you. No worries. All the best. Thank you. Thanks. Cheers. Are you all right for going yeah, yeah. on the live? No, nah, not really. Nah. Nah. So I've got the camera down. Normally just... How long have you been in the... Is that off? No, I've got it down. Oh, it's all right. I'm... You don't mind about audio? I mean, I've just spoke to the chief inspector and, you know, the the big yeah. pit guys. Um, I mean, I haven't been in trouble for about 13 years now. Um, well, he, he's never been in trouble. He's a goody two-shoes. And uh, I'm trying to get him in cuffs so he knows what it feels like. <laughs> But they, they're all saying to me they can't. I said, so smack me in the mouth in front of the officer. Oh You'll That's feel the cuffs going on. So, um, I'm on, um, on a local policing team, which I'm based out of Mainly Police Station, so I'm going from Woodside and Mainly. So my role slightly differs from a responsible officer's role. So I deal with like community issues, work with parish councils, and I deal with like um, going into schools as well as community events. So it's slightly different. So I see kids like growing up in this. And, and what, what sort of rank are you? Just a PC. Just a PC. Please, please, please yes. And what was your thoughts? I was a police officer. I was, I was a PCSO. So I joined as a PCSO initially from working in the background in sort of, um, retail and shopping work. And I always fancy joining the police. But at that point, they didn't have recruitment. Recruitment wasn't open. So but PCSO recruitment was open. So I joined as a PCSO. I did six years. Enjoyed the job I was doing. And then I've been in like seven years in December. So I then did three, three and a half on response up here at Man's Gate. And then I've gone down to local policing now because it's sort of, um, what I want to do more so in the policing line of work. You know, I know people want to do traffic and stuff as I like the local policing, the community side of things. And how, how do you think policing's changed over the past, like, say, 20 years? Oh, it's difficult because yeah. I've obviously been in like 12 years. Um, it's, it's difficult. It's, There's like no, policies and stuff like that changed a lot. As policies and stuff like that changed for the better over the years. Yeah, things have got a lot stricter. You know, we 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 have to document anything that we do. You know, any use of force or anything like that. You know, um, and technology moves on, doesn't it? Um, numbers on as what they were like previous years, I think, um, and previous to violence, but it's getting better. Recruitment's really good. There's a big recruitment drive. So, yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's good. It's a good job. What, what, what more would you like to see in like the future of policing? What, what, what do you think, what areas do you think could do with? Just like technology probably improving, really. Um, and like anywhere, you know, recently in the last couple of years, we've, I haven't got the body worn video camera, but body worn videos were in, you know, improved and, and brought in and things, just things like that, really. And it, and it helps us and it helps the public because it 
shows both sides of the, the story, yeah. doesn't it? So yeah, yeah. Um, it, it, I mean, it proves that you haven't done nothing exactly. wrong, and it proves so it that the public us, hasn't. It covers you as well, you know. So, yeah. and, that, and that's been a big change in recent years. Yeah. 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 All right, right. I'll move out and let these youngsters. No, no. Come, come and have a look if you want to have a look at the yeah, yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm going to go. Yeah, you're right. You going now? This is just the sort of area that you got guys to to sit. You know, look, literally. You know, this this is literally. <laughs> you know, all you've got. You know, if you've been naughty, you know, so sitting there. Well, I'm gonna have to put the camera down, guys, because there are no more kids about. Yeah, you sort of grab it and out you go. Cheers for your Thank time, you anyway. Name, uh, my name's Steve, and I'm a YouTube channel's uh, official topic tour. Okay, film uh, on a live. Do you mind being filmed on a live? On a what? On a live. I'm doing a live YouTube. Oh, right, okay. Do you mind being on it all? No, it's fine. <laughs> Here we go, guys. Uh, what's your name? Um, Chief Inspector Joe Whitehead. We got Chief Inspector Joe White here. Here, um, just going to ask you a couple of questions. Um, how long have you actually been in the police force? Nearly twenty-one years. Twenty-one years—that's yeah. a long time, that is. And how how did you feel when you like when you first wanted to join? Oh well, it's it's quite a lot of change when you first join, um, but it's like oh, being part of a big family, really, and everyone makes you feel really welcome. You really get a lot of good training and. Um, soon get into the sleeve there, really, and I can't imagine doing anything else. And what, 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 what special, sorry, do you need any special qualifications to join as a PC? No, there's all sort. well, there's various entry routes that people can join, and it, and it depends on what level of uh, qualification you've got. Yeah. yeah. And what made you join? Um, to be honest, there were several reasons. I wanted to help people, I wanted to make a difference, serve my community, um, and I like the idea that I'd walk into work not knowing what I was going to do, that yeah. it was something different every day. It's different every day. Yeah. And how, how has it gone over the years, like for female officers? Um, well, there's a lot more female officers now than when I joined. Um, there was not many on my intake, um, but now we're getting nearer and nearer to sort of 50-50, so it's, uh, it's great. Did, did you feel like when you first joined, did you feel that you might have been, I don't know, vic victimised because you're female as opposed to doing... No, I've never experienced that. Um, you know, I know perhaps some people might have felt like that, but no, I, no, I haven't. Have you always been with West Mercia or have you been yeah, through no, other always, forces? Uh, always West Mercia, mainly based here at Telford, and also worked through Brinkin' of And um, you obviously started off as a PC and worked, worked your way up. Um, how hard was it? For you from being a PC to being a, 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 like the top of the chain, basically, as a chief inspector? Um, it's hard work and there's ups and downs over the years and it, it's, it's not like plain, it's not plain sailing. Um, I, most of my career I spent in CID, um, so yeah, but it's, it's been great. Uh, my name's Steve. Um, I've got a YouTube channel, Official Topic Tour. Um, I've got just over 4,000. Um, subscribers yeah. um, and I first started my channel last year yeah. so I've only been going a year oh, um, I've got about 1.3 million views on all my videos yeah. um, and I've started my channel off um, covering about the grooming gangs in Telford right. um, you know to bring awareness and um, I did step out yeah. you know into their world you know, because I know it's a Pakistani community, you know, and, you know, and I caused a bit of a raid, um, you know, <laughs> within the Wellington area. But I was only covering everything that I knew was true or was fact, and it's already out in the public domain. Right, so you've just built up your followers. Yeah, from, from, from yeah, starting yeah. from that, um, which I felt needed awareness to be brought, um, you know, because of so many survivors being out there, um, you know, I, I felt the need... You know that I needed to cover that subject, and then um, I kind of swayed off of that course, um, and I started interviewing like underworld gangsters, um, like from Newcastle. But when I was in, when, when I set up the interviews with them, the, these underworld figures, I didn't want all their glory doors because I don't glorify crime. Crime should never be glorified. But the story that I wanted 
is their tra transformation from character, from how they were, um, and the underworld stuff they used to do, to being like the good citizen like of today. Um, that's the story I want, because I, I don't want to, I've never wanted to interview these characters and, you know, people think oh, it's glorifying their activities, you know, which is something I, I don't believe in. Um, but I was more interested in how they changed as a character, how they went from being this horrible, you know, individual to, you know, like an everyday, like normal citizen. Um, there was about three, I think, I've covered, like from in the Newcastle um, area. Um, and then I went on to doing a few podcasts um, with a, a couple of guys over from America. Um, and then I'm, I'm now on to the path where I want to start interviewing bare knuckle boxers. Um, well, I mean, luckily, official topic talk. Um, I, I, I was lucky, uh, I managed to interview a BKB fighter, which was the first ever BKB fighter out of Telford. Um, and unfortunately, um, four weeks after I managed to get the interview, he died. Um, 